traffic to the stream. Special announcement time. You know, I've been giving a thought to this topic for quite a while. Um, and it's, and I've been looking for the right opportunity to do it. And it met a couple things, you know, needed to fall into place and just needed to happen at the right time, the right opportunity. And I, I think the right fighter, I uh, need to be for the right fighter, but I decided to sponsor a fighter for the first time. So the channel is going to be sponsoring a fighter for the first time. It's going, the logo here that you see is going to appear on a fighter's trunks for two fights. Vendor a two fight deal with a fighter for sponsorship. Um, and you know, this, this fighter said, you know, sometime last month, fighter announced, hey, I've got a fight November 18th, looking for sponsors. And, you know, I, uh, just thought, you know, is the right fighter fighting under the right banner to get the exposure. Uh, this fighter shows a lot of promise, has a good fighting style. Seems to have a good attitude about fighting. And I've been watching her for a while. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, um, take the leap. And WMAC now is officially sponsoring Combate Global Flyweight, Maritza Sanchez. Maritza is currently, I believe, if I remember right, four and one as a pro. She is the number one ranked flyweight in Combate Global, and she is fighting on November 18th. The, I believe that's the final Combate Global show for 2023. So I don't know if she's the main event or not, but she will be fighting on internationally televised uh, broadcast, uh, Paramount Plus for English. Univision and TUDN for Spanish. I believe I know they have a net, uh, Mexican network deal as well. You can order their events individually on uh, Facebook if you're international. And I, I've been keeping my eye on Maritza for a while. And when she made the announcement that she was fighting and taking sponsorships, I said, This is the one. I said, This is the opportunity. I've been wanting to sponsor a fighter for a while, and I'm going to take the leap. So I contacted Maritza. Very cordial. You know, so far, the uh, business relationship has gone good. Communication is um, has been great. You know, she's been not like super quick to reply, but very prompt with replies, timely, uh, very professional sounding. And I like her. I like her fighting style. She's very aggressive. And hey, she's number one in combate right now, and on that short list for a title fight. I don't know as of right now. I don't know who she's fighting. Might not find out until fight week, like usual. We'll see. Um, but I'm sure it'll be a, a decent opponent. And I, I really wish her well, but I'm really looking forward to this relationship with Maritza. Sponsoring her for two weeks, and my logo right there in the lower left-hand corner will be somewhere on her fight shorts, whichever, whatever they end up looking like. For two fights. So not only this fight, but her next fight as well. Um, she gave me the prices for one fight, two fight, and three fight, and the two fight spot deal was hard to resist. Now this is coming purely out of my own pocket. Uh, yes, the channel is monetized, but it doesn't make money like you would think. Trust me, you don't make good money on on YouTube. It's it's very hard to make good money on YouTube. Uh, so this is coming out of my own pocket, but I thought, listen, the opportunity was right. The fighter was right. I have the money to spare on this. So I don't know how how often i'll be sponsoring fighters in the future it'll be on a case-by-case -case basis um 
it will have to be a fighter that, you know, I think shows some promise or at least a fighter that I like or have kept an eye on for a while. Um, and it has to be, you know, a fight that will get me some exp – the. it has to be a fight that will get some exposure too. And a lot of people say, well, if you didn't get the exposure, then what's the point of, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like the same way a lot of like – a lot of the sponsors left – fighters after the UFC banned sponsors. And I would still sponsor fighters even if I couldn't get the exposure, but the exposure definitely helps. But it is, at the end of the day, it is about helping a, a young, promising fighter. And that's what this is. So, Maritza, glad to be working with you. Uh, best of luck on November 18th. I uh, hope Hopefully this uh, venture turns out great for both of us. You know, I'm hoping she wins. Hoping she makes the uh, – looks great. Hopefully my uh, logo is placed right, that it gets, you know, some exposure during the fight. That would be awesome. But it doesn't matter to me. What matters is that, you know, helping a young fighter, you know, get through their camp, pay for some necessities, what whatever, and – um Uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this. Really excited about this. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. I just, I'm just really excited to uh, have done this. And like I said, I don't know how often I'll be sponsoring fighters. It just depends on, you know, the timing, the opportunity, the fighters themselves. But really looking forward to this. So uh, good luck on November 18th, Maritza. Happy to be working with you.